Well, hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, in this one, I'm going to be talking about primarily Thunderbolt 4, but I'm going to build up to it first. I recently purchased this unit here. It's from a company called AWO, and what it is is a housing and USB transfer unit for an M.2 drive. It only supports full size ones. I'm not sure why, but you know, it has a really heavy cooling heat sink on the outside, so that may be part of it. But it currently is with what looks like USB-C, and it will work with USB-C according to the instructions. However, the little cable it gave you is more than a USB-C. It's a Thunderbolt 4, because this device is a Thunderbolt 4 device. So what I'm going to do is I bought this Western Digital Black high-speed M2 drive that goes at, uh, what, 7300 per second, and... If I put that in here right now and just use regular USB-C, for example, in this PC that I have here, which is my VM server, if I connect it up to, let's say, the front port, I will get maybe 5 gig. If I connect it to the back, I will get maybe 10 gig. However, with this thing being able to go Thunderbolt, I could go up to 40. However, I don't have a Thunderbolt adapter built into this one. It didn't come with this particular motherboard. So... I will be putting in, in part two of this video, a Thunderbolt card from ASUS that is compatible with the motherboard that I have in here, an ASUS Prime motherboard. And we have a slot for it, a times four slot that's needed for this. So that's where I'm headed with this. And then once I've got that installed with the drivers and every all the configuration with the BIOS, then I will put this on and test it further to see if I get that kind of speed. So that's what the objective of this video is, and stick around to the end and you'll see what the results are. I'm expecting it all to work perfectly, but, you know, things don't always work out the way I plan it, right? So let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, here we go. We got the Myro laid out. It came with a single heating pad, although the instructions showed two in terms of thermal pads, and one piece of metal. It looks like aluminum. It's got a coating that can be removed on one side. So according to the instructions, we have to first pop this open. It looks like you can use a screwdriver, or let me try my nail here. Just try to pop this out. It, and it did, it popped right out. Okay. So here in the inside, we have the socket. And we have a little rubber screw. I see a little packet that came and has an extra one of those in the packet. So here's my Western Digital Black, two terabyte, high speed. Let's get this in here, push it in, pretty tight. I'm gonna push this down here and then sort of turn this screw, right? Let me see. Okay, it's in. Let me put the, it says put the thermal pad next. It has a piece of plastic on it, so I'll remove that. Let me lie it down on this first before I remove the other side. Try to center it as best possible. Let's take the little plastic piece off of it. You gotta get rid of those pieces of plastic because they will prevent the thing from properly transferring the heat. There we go. A little bit of effort. You need a nice sharp knife to do it, right? Finally got it off. The aluminum looks like it has a coating too. Let me see if that comes off. Curl up the end here. Yep. So, get a little blue thing off and let's put this on top. And then we got to put this back on. It sort of angles in from this end. It's got a little piece here sticking out. Get that in there. And that should be it. Okay, so it's all assembled. Let me go ahead and start the testing. Okay, let me show you some of the test results that I got after trying this new uh, USB adapter, which is, goes all the way up to Thunderbolt, which we'll see in the next video. But let's see what we have here. I'm showing all the connectors that you can get in USB Type-C. They also have it in Type-A, but the Type-C was the picture I located. 
and it goes everywhere from USB 2.0, which is 480 megabits per second, the lowercase BPS is bits per second, all the way up to 40 gigabits per second for a Thunderbolt 4. Everything in between generally is either a USB 3 or a USB 4. In the USB 3, I've covered this in a previous video, that most people today refer to them all as USB 3.2. Then you have Gen 1, which is 5 gigabits per second, Gen 2, which is 10 gigabits per second. Then you have something called Gen 2 Type 2, which is 20 gigabits per second. Now, I've never seen a USB 4, but you know I'm sure they exist on some PCs and some configurations. But this is the symbols that you would see. In each case, some of them have a, just a symbol. Most of the USB 3.0s have the SS for super speed and a, little, and a little number that may go along with it to tell you what the actual speed in gigabits per second happens to be. Now let's take a look at the test results when I put it in USB 2.0. On the back of my particular PC, that's the black connectors, and I got a total of 43, approximately rounding, megabytes per second. Now a byte is generally 8 bits, but you also have some control bits with that when you're transmitting it. So I like to round it off at 10. So if you take that 43, multiply it by 10, I would say it's really close to 430 megabits per second. That's what the 43.2 is really saying. So as you can see, it got pretty close to what's advertised speed for USB 2.0. Moving up to USB 3.2 Gen 1, that can do a maximum of 5 gigabits per second, and our test results on this particular device came out with 464 megabytes per second, which sort of matches up with that 5 gigabits per second if you multiplied that by 10. Then moving up to the next connector, which on my particular computer is indicated by a blue connector on it. It is USB 3.0 Gen 2. And on that one, I got 1,071 rounded megabytes per second, which does turn out to be very close to the 10 gigabits per second that that particular type of interface can handle. Now, as we move up to the to the USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type 2, which can go up to 20 gigabits per second. On the back of my computer, that's a teal connector, Type A that is. There's also a Type C as well right next to it. That one can go as fast as 20 gigabits per second. And sure enough, my test results show we got 2,033 megabytes per second. And if you multiply that by 10, then you come out very close to that 20 gigabits per second that I showed you earlier. So those are the test results. We'll be able to try Thunderbolt 4 once I've installed the board and done a test on that in part two of this particular video series. Thanks for watching.